Hey football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we're diving into the world of transfers and the impact they have on the championship. You see, every year, the transfer window fees get bigger, and while the big money deals in the Premier League make the headlines, the consequences are felt further down the pyramid. This summer, relegated clubs like Southampton, Leicester City, and Leeds United have cashed in, selling a combined 15 players for almost £300 million. That's compared to the £144 million in sales made by the other 21 teams in the championship. The gap between these top-earning clubs and the rest of the championship has never been bigger. But it's not just the relegated clubs benefiting from these big deals. Teams like Coventry City, Bristol City, and Middlesbrough have also made significant sales. However, when you compare these fees to the amounts paid for players in the Premier League, you start to see the Premier League tax in action. Players who have featured in the top flight, even in a limited capacity, are valued higher. It gives recently relegated clubs a stronger negotiating position against their championship rivals. The financial disparity between the top-earning clubs and the rest of the championship has effectively created a 25-team Premier League. The relegated trio, along with Norwich and Watford, receive substantial parachute payments, giving them a significant advantage in attracting the best quality players and increasing their chances of getting back to the Premier League. Now, clubs like Luton Town have shown that it's possible to achieve promotion from the championship without overspending. But financial sustainability remains a hot topic in the second tier. The days of spending big in the hopes of promotion have long gone, thanks to the impact of COVID. However, spending is gradually on its way back, with an estimated total spend of around £140 million this year. Some groups, like Fair Game, are calling for better support for lower league teams and grassroots football. They propose a 10% tax on transfers between Premier League clubs and teams overseas, which could redistribute up to £160 million to the lower levels of the game. But whether this proposal will gain traction remains to be seen. The financial picture across the leagues is concerning, with championship clubs spending 126% of their revenue on wages. Average losses of £2.9 million were recorded, highlighting the need for financial stability in the championship. So, if Leicester, Southampton, and Leeds go back up, it will only reinforce the feeling that the championship is becoming all too predictable. The gap between the top-earning clubs and the rest of the division continues to widen, making it harder for clubs to break out and achieve sustainable success. That's all for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Soccer News Center.